Infinite Geometric Series. Infinite Geometric Series. It is a series of the form a plus a times r plus a times r squared plus a times r cubed plus a times r to the fourth power plus so on and so forth plus a times r raised to n minus 1 plus so on and so forth. The sum of an infinite geometric series can be expressed by s sub n or s. So we have s sub n equals a plus a times r plus a times r squared plus a times r cubed plus a times r to the fourth power plus so on and so forth. This one can still be simplified. So we can have s of n equals a plus, as you have noticed, these terms have a common monomial factor and that is r. So a times r divided by r is a a times r squared divided by, I, divided by r is a times r. a times r cubed divided by r is a times r squared. a times r to the fourth power divided by r is equal to a times r cubed, and so on and so forth. And we all know that this a plus a times r plus a times r squared, and so on and so forth, is already our sum. So we can replace this by s or s of m. That is why we have here a plus r times s. Let us solve the equation of s equals a plus r times s for s. So first, we have to eliminate our r times s in this side. So we're going to add negative r times s both sides. So we have s minus r times s equals a. And then, we have a common factor in this given, which is s. So we can have 1 minus r times s, because 1 times s is s, and negative r times s is negative r s. So we have the quantity of 1 minus r, quantity times s equals a. And then we need to eliminate 1 minus r besides s. So we apply MPE. We multiply it by the reciprocal of 1 minus r, and that is 1 over 1 minus r. Or you divide the whole equation by 1 minus r. So doing that, we have s equals a over 1 minus r. So this will be our formula in finding infinite geometric series. That is, s equals a over 1 minus r. So let us, let us have examples. Example number one. Let us find the sum of the geometric segments 1 half, 1 fourth, 1 eighth, 1 over 16, and so on and so forth. So first, the given will be a sub 1 or the first term is 1 half, and our r will be 1 half. Or the common ratio is obtained by dividing the second term by the first term. So 1 fourth divided by 1 half, so as you have noticed, we have here a complex fractions, meaning the numerator and denominators are of the form of fractions. So what are we going to do in dividing fractions? We need to take the reciprocal of the denominator and then we proceed to multiplication. In this case, one-fourth is the numerator and one-half will be the denominator. So we take the reciprocal of one-half, which is two, and then we multiply that to one-half rather to 1 fourth. So 1 fourth times 2 will be equal to 1 half. And then we need to find for the sum or our infinite geometric series. So S will be found. So the formula in finding our sum will be S or S of N equals A sub 1 over 1 minus R. So let us now solve. By substitution, we have S equals our A is 1 half, or the first term is 1 half, over we have 1 minus R, our R is also 1 half, so 1 minus 1 half. So let us simplify first the denominator. Let us subtract the given terms or numbers. 
So, we'll have 1 minus 1 half is already 1 half. So, we have 1 half over 1 half. So, again, we take the reciprocal of the denominator, which is 1 half here, and then multiply that to 1 half. So, reciprocal of 1 half is 2, and then 1 half times 2 will be equal to 1. So, the sum here, or the infinite geometric series of the given infinite geometric sequence will be 1. Example number 2. The sum of the infinite geometric sequence and the first term are 45 and 15 respectively. Let us find the common ratio. So in our given, we have the sum of the infinite geometric sequence, which is 45. And of course, our first term or E sub 1 will be 15. So what are we going to find here will be the common ratio or R. So to find that, we can use R equals 1 minus A sub 1 over S or the sum. So let us now solve. So by substitution, we have R equals 1 minus our first term is 15 over the sum will be 45. And then we simplify this 15 over 45. They are both divisible by 15. So this one can be expressed as 1 third. So we have 1 minus 1 third. And we need to subtract these two numbers. 1 minus 1 third, our 1 can be expressed as 3 over 3. So that they have the same denominators. If they have the same denominators, we can now subtract the numerators. So we have 3 over 3. So 3 minus 1 is 2, and then affix the common denominator, which is 3. So therefore, the common ratio here will be 2 over 3.